Ladies and gentlemen, our host for the evening, one of Sydney's dearest and oldest friends, Harry Belafonte. Denzel, you could have just left it at uh, dearest. There's nothing old about him or me. <laughs> Tonight, Sidney Poitier receives the American Film Institute Life Achievement Award, the highest honor for a career in film. In being honored for his contribution to the art of motion pictures, he walks into the ranks of history alongside of Orson Welles, James Cagney, Bette Davis, Henry Fonda, Alfred Hitchcock, Frank Capra, and other great filmmakers who have been so honored. 48 years ago, the winter of 1945, Sidney Poitier walked into a small theater in Harlem. It was located in the basement of the Elks Hall on 126th Street. This was the American Negro Theater. And he and I were looking to sign up. Sidney was 19, I was 19. He was a first generation American of West Indian heritage, and I was the same. I talked too much, he didn't talk at all. <laughs> For a living, I worked as an assistant janitor. He worked as a dishwasher. In our first play at the theater, I had the lead role. Sydney was my understudy. One day, the young man who covered my job hauling garbage called and said he couldn't work that night. Not being able to afford unemployment, I went off to haul garbage, and Sydney went on to play my part. <laughs> that performance turned out to be the night a director from Broadway came to scout our company. <laughs> He saw Sidney Poitier in my part. <laughs> Signed him on the spot for a role in Lisa Strata. And that launched the brilliant career we celebrate tonight. We've been friends for many, many years. I've shared more with Sidney than with any other man. And I'm very, very proud of what he has achieved as an artist and a citizen. And I'm very, very fortunate to have you as my friend, and I love you. <laughs> 